So this printer was having a really weird problem where it would load filament, but then uh, it wouldn't load filament. And sometimes you had to like press really hard to load the filament, and sometimes when it was going really slow, like when it was doing the first layer calibration, that wasn't working. So I've taken this apart, and I see now the problem is this little gear right here uh, doesn't match up with the gear back there that you can't really see. Let me see. So the filament, the gears here, the gear closer up is in the right place. This is the only place it can be. But the gear further back, you can see the filament, the brown part, is right up against the big teeth. The big teeth on this gear are way over here, and then the part where the filament goes is over here. Back here, the big teeth are right up against the filament, and then the part where the filament goes is too far that way. Uh, so the fix will be to get the gear back there, back that way, so that the big teeth that uh, should mesh with these teeth here are further that way. Right now, what's happening, the reason we see the behavior we're seeing is the big teeth back here would cause the, would actually grab the filament and push it down, and when they grab the filament and push it down, the filament would grab these small teeth on this gear and cause it to spin. So that's why we would see this not spinning at some times when it should have been, um, but it also would spin sometimes when it should have been. Uh, and that's why we saw the behavior where if the extruder was moving slowly, uh, then or it wouldn't work. Uh, the filament wouldn't go because uh, these teeth back here when they moved slow, I guess that wasn't, they didn't have enough grip to pull the filament down. But when they moved fast, they did have enough grip, enough traction to pull the filament down. Um, and that should fix a lot of issues. Uh, so the filament not sticking to the bed, that would cause that too, because this would mean that not enough filament would come out. Um, so I'm going to try figuring that out now, how to move the, the that gear in the way back that way. There's some grub screws on that gear, uh, so I will have to... Hopefully they're still in there. Hopefully they're just loose. Um, so I'll have to loosen them and then push the gear that way and then tighten them again uh, and get them lined up. Alright, so I just heated up the extruder and then I was able to turn the uh, grub screw I was actually able to reach in there with my uh, with this and just kind of push it that way. I pushed on the on the these gears and then I pushed on the the back end of it un until it went that way. And then I preheated it so that it would the menu uh, for moving the extruder motor would come up. And then I uh, moved the extruder motor. Actually, I told it to move the extruder motor and nothing happened. So then I told it to move the extruder motor while pushing down on the filament. And then it slowly rotated. And now I can see the set screw. And I can see, might be hard to tell on the camera, but it is in fact uh, loose. So one set screw is definitely loose. I will take it out, put some Loctite on it, and then put it back in. And then I will uh, find the other one. And I will try to make sure that when I tighten it down, it will be on the flat side. It's actually a little bit off right now. It's it's uh, The flat is not exactly where the grub screw is. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I got the grub screw out, and um, it wasn't really... Uh, the threads on it weren't very clean. So I was trying to clean them out by using that tool right there, the edge of it, and run it along the threads. That wasn't working. So then I realized I could just run it through a nut. So I did that, and now the threads are pretty clean. So I just screwed it in as if it were a screw, and then it came out the other side, and it was pretty clean. I spun the gear all the way around, again, by pushing filament down. Uh, pushing filament down as I, through the menu, told it to go... Uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, settings, move axis, extruder... Uh, making sure that it's uh, preheated for PLA because otherwise it won't do it. So then I, I spin spin the dial at the same time as pushing down on the filament um, and I was able to rotate the shaft 360 degrees and I can actually rotate the shaft 
without rotating the gear. And if I want to rotate the gear also, I have to push down on the filament while I'm telling the menu to extrude. Um, so then it will rotate the shaft and the filament at the same time. Um, and that's pretty fortunate because that means I can line up that hole with the flat side of the motor shaft. Um, and so I will do that, put the put Loctite on the, grip, the set screw, and then I will uh, tighten it back up and close this door, and hopefully everything will just work. Um, that was definitely a problem. It might not be the only problem, but that was definitely a problem. So solving that will improve things. There's the grub screw on the end of the, uh, the tool right there, and here's Loctite. And getting just a tiny amount of Loctite to come out is difficult, so I'm probably going to have too much. But I'm going to tilt it and then squeeze ever so slightly, <laughs> and too much came out. But that's fine. Um, not all of it will stay in there, uh, so yeah. And now I will need my hands for tightening it into the spot. I have put everything back in, tightened it all up, and now I'm going to try moving the extruder gear, and hopefully we'll be able to see this outer gear move at the same time. Yes! Alright, so I don't have any filament loaded, but... Since we can see the outer gear moving, that means that the teeth right there are meshed with the teeth further in that we, on the gear that we can't see that's actually directly on the motor. Uh, and so loading should be a lot easier now. Um, hopefully sticking to the bed will be a lot easier. Uh, so I'm going to need both hands for that. So I'll see you in the next clip. Loading is happening, and it was indeed much easier this time. I, I did push down, but I didn't have to push down nearly as hard as I did before. And, hey, stuff is coming out. And it's coming out pretty good. Is it coming out the correct color? I mean, this is the rainbow roll, so... Yeah, let's say yeah. That's awesome. In summary, the problem was, uh, the observed problem was filament wasn't loading unless you pushed down really hard. This gear wasn't moving um, all the times when it should have been. Uh, filament wasn't sticking to the bed. Uh, sometimes it would extrude, but sometimes it wouldn't. In particular, it wouldn't extrude for doing the first layer calibration. Um, and the all of that was caused by the set screw on the gear further in, the one that's actually directly on the motor, uh, that was loose. So I took it out, put some Loctite on it, and then put it back in. And now filament loading worked fine. Um, this outer gear moves. The gear that's actually that's on this door moves, um, even when there's no filament loaded. Uh, and I haven't tried a first layer calibration, but... I'm guessing it'll work.